Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the visibility pane updates that Canes have made at the 17.2 release. So the visibility pane is, a, is an area where we can turn layers on, turn layers off. Um, you can obviously use the setup colors option to, to come to the layers and, and, and choose the layers that you want on and off. Um, the visibility pane up until the 17.2 release was not customizable. So you, you were kind of restricted to the layers that you could have in here. And it was normally just the etch layers that you could have visible. Now you can pretty much add any layer you like. Um, if we go to the visibility pane, um, there's some options down here to start off with. So we can do things like, do we want to have the, the global visibility on or off? And you can see that kind of happening up here. So if we just uh, turn this window off, if I turn all the, the layers off, I've got a quick way to do this. I can then go back to the last view. The views menu still use color view files and the artwork files if you want to do this. I've now got a layer stack up based on the cross section. So if your cross section has multiple different types of cross section, so a cross section by zone for a flexi rigid, for example, I've got the primary stack up, which shows me all the, the, the complete stack up for the primary area. I've got a flexi area and I've also got a rigid area. If I go back to the primary area, I also have, also have this enable layer select mode, which effectively turns the, the layers into almost like hyperlink. So I can I can select the top layer and turn all the top layers on very quickly in a layer two, in a layer four, look at the solder mask bottom with a single click. I can also use the control click to turn on multiple layers in one go to get an indication of what I'm looking for from a PCB point of view. If we actually go to the color dialog, from a visibility pane point of view, obviously I had the global visibility. Um, it's whether I have the view menu on, whether I want the stack ups, whether I show conductors, planes, masks. The buttons are customizable size wise. The space in between the buttons is also customizable. And I can also customize kind of what layers I want from an all on, all off point of view. So in this example, I've got root keep out. I might not want to display the root keep out, so I can double click and remove that from this window. If I go to some other layers, um, maybe I want to start to include things like silk screen and solder mask. So let's just use the, the filter for silk. Looking under the geometry folder, there's my silk screen top and bottom. So what I can do is I can actually just right click on these, these the colors and go add to visibility. And we'll add that one to, sorry, I've already added that one to visibility. So we'll add that one to visibility, that one to visibility, that one to visibility. So you can see now I can actually have a layer turning these on and off. If I go back and look for um, outline, so I've got the new design outline, so we'll add the, that to the visibility, we'll add the cutout to the visibility. So you can pretty much customize this to suit. Once you're happy with that, we'll click OK, and then the layers are enabled to be, I can come over here and turn the layers on as required to see what I need to see.